Robbie C, it's a little late. I'm gonna just wanna make a little video of uh, my box opening. Got these guys way earlier, but uh, just been busy. And uh, if you guys have been buying snakes, uh, the end of 2020 and January, shipping has been crazy because of the virus and also because uh, the weather was real bad everywhere. So uh, I'm receiving packages from last year till uh, this week, past couple weeks. So this is uh, the second part of the females I found on Morph Market through Wright's Reptiles. And uh, he gave me a pretty good deal on these guys, well, on these girls and one guy. tape on here. Joshua's pretty cool. Alright, so this is a double head uh, pied and ghost. They sold in their bags. So I'm just gonna get them right back in there and uh, get her and set up in her rack. So it's gonna be uh, nothing too pretty from the females. They're just normals, double head, ghost, and pied. She got a little stuck shed. That's not a problem. We'll just give her a little soak. Nice color. Light brown. So that's the male, and he's a clown. So he kind of has some cool colors on him. Not a fan of the tape. Another female, normal, double head, ghost, and pipe. Cool little golden colors in there. All right, and this is the boy here. So he's clown. And um, ghost. Did I call those other ones uh, pies ghost? Those are uh, ghost clown. Cool little head stamp on him.
need to stop this. Okay, second video. Looks like my uh, blackhead orange stream female finally got her rat. <laughs> and this is from Nightfall Reptiles. And, uh, Box cutters here make this a little easier. All right, my little receipt. It's always good for the records. So, this is an adult. And this is part of my um, final piece to my project with the double recessive uh, clown. And if I can open this. Now he looks like he's going into shed. This is a clown albino well he's actually albino heck clown my bad he'll look a little bit more uh brighter with the clown so i have a couple females for him that are clown head albino so i'll be able to get half the clutch a double visual Clown and albino. You can stop it. All right, here's the part three. And the last but not least, as they say, from Breedos Breeder Circle. He's a pretty big breeder. That's kind of cool. Then he actually gives you little uh, cards too, reading cards. That's kind of nice. Cool little certificates of what's in here. Okay. So. I've been waiting since December for these guys. And he's got the the knot here. <laughs> Getting there. All right. So I just really like how she looked. She kind of reminds me of a super stripe. But she's red axanthic. My bad. Um, I'm about to edit that out. She is a super stripe. And uh, she's a, a red axanthic. Man, she's really nice looking. So red axanthic is uh, not a recessive gene. It's whatever... Her offspring all will be het red exantic. So kind of a little confusing, but the main thing is uh all her babies will be she kind of like acts like a super in a way. All her babies will be het 
red exantic. So pretty cool. And she's super striped. So she's yellow belly and specter. I was thinking about going a little heavy in the super striped game, but mm, I'm just gonna not do as many uh, of those long shots and probably just add, who knows, maybe asphalt later on in life. A lot of options though. recording rolling her eyes the infamous eye roll yeah all right so this is a guy and he's a head pie What's cool about him, he's got four jeans in him. His pastel, Mojave, called a Pastavi. He's a, a yellow belly, calico, and he's head pipe. So he's Pastavi, calico, head pipe. So he's almost, he's probably ready to breed. And I have a, a normal pie that I'm gonna put with him and I'll get some pretty cool babies out of them. So they're all pretty cold. I'm gonna get them in their habitats. Thank you for watching, Slew the City. Bye.